Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, this is my second live uh, broadcast. I hope you uh, join me very soon. I decided to do this because I was uh, experimenting, uh, looking to make a, a very special candle for my candle line. And <clears throat> I, I was trying just to experiment with these small, uh, uh, these small oil samples that I got from uh, different companies, mostly from Candle Science, uh, the Flaming Candle, and the Wooden Wick Company. So I decided to, you know, just experiment with them. Hi everyone, how you all doing? Welcome. I hope you all join me uh, for this, uh, my second broadcast. Again, I'm gonna make a very special candle for my candle romance. Uh, so I decided to make a candle with you guys uh, using my the official vessel. And I am going to show you the uh, different scents that, I'm, that I've chosen to make this special candle. Uh, I've been experimenting with um, with uh, fragrance oils for hours now, and I uh, came to the conclusion that I like this combination. <sighs> my God, this is this is epic! I think this is one going to be uh, one of my best scents ever. Uh, the combination is going to be um, glowing amber from let me find it. Glowing amber from the flaming candle. This is number one. Uh, I combined it with black cy uh, black cypress and cassis from Lone Star Candle Company. This one here. Uh, the next combination that I'm gonna use is chocolate amber from the Flaming Company, the Flaming Candle Company. This one here. And the last one is gonna be Cuban tobacco from Candles and Supplies, which is this one here. Uh, so I've taken already because I like this different scent so much. So I'm, I place orders for a bigger size. Uh, for let's see when they come in. In the meantime, let's make the candle together. So I just want I just have a tip for you guys. Uh, while I was sampling all these different scents, I had to take a break and I just take some ground coffee that I have in a shot glass and have a cover. So in in order to clean the uh, the palette, so I just go go outside and just okay smell the the ground coffee and that makes you clear the uh the different uh the different fragrance oil um uh, hi lucky sport how are you hello sabrina hello uh love box yes okay um so i didn't want to bore you with these guys so and that's why i decided to make the my the fragrance choices that I wanted first, and then continue making the candle. So I have in here my four different uh, selections. Uh, let me just start wicking this candle. And I also have done a lot of wick testing, guys. And for this candle, I'm gonna be using a CD14. Okay, I decided to use this one here. CD14 from Candle Science. Uh, I already tested this before in another candle, and I chose this one because I think... I know, Carrie. How are you? How's everything going, Carrie? I hope everything is going good uh, with the school, you know, and, like, you're all staying safe, you know, and... Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use one CD14. And I was trying... I was, I've been testing uh, also the LX series. But I just want to change. I just want to see how this one works. So I'm going to take one of my uh, my glue dots. Like I told you, I like the ones from with the uh, with the yellow. Thank you, thank you, Carrie. I'm so happy. You know, uh, this is my second live, and you know, I feel like I'm here with you guys. Thank you for coming in. You know, I hope more people come jump uh, in the channel. Let's see, so let me just put this in the vessel. And as you know, guys, the secret to a perfect candle is a perfect centering. So hopefully I'll get it right. So for this, I have to stay quiet and just concentrate. I got it. Yes. Okay. And now I'm gonna take a stick and I'm gonna press. Um, 
into the glass to make sure that I have full contact because you have to make sure that you stick the the wick securely so when you pour the wax it doesn't go swimming all over the place and also I'm going to be using one of my handmade uh, wick holders these are two bamboo skewers that I put together and I just press it in, in, in the center and I'm just going to Okay. I've been trying to wick this pestle, guys, so many times, and I tried using uh, wooden wicks. The wooden wicks don't work for some reason. Okay, so this is my handmade uh, wick holder. Yeah, so let me just bring this down so you can see better. I've been using this. Ready for now, I'm gonna raise my uh okay can you see maybe let me just pull you far farther away i'm using my old uh macbook to do this guys so that way i can just take you all over the all over the place in the meantime what i did guys is i uh i have my i'm melting my my wax on my candle mail soy light so this is the, let me just turn it on. It will help if I plug it in. Let me plug it in, hold on. I forgot that I have two different appliances in one, uh, in one extension cord and I need to shut one off first. Otherwise the circuit breaker would just, Break. Okay, so let me just. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now it's working. So this is the wax that I have inside. And I'm going to wait for that to melt. In the meantime, let's measure the oils. Guys, let me know if you like this type of uh, life so I can do it more often, you know, so I can just spend more time with you guys. I hope you guys saw my, my video that I posted this morning, I think this morning. I mean, I'm melting, I'm doing melt for the first time. Okay, so let me just put this aside. Hold on. Okay, I have a, a follower here. Let me just tell her uh, I'm live. at my channel. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully she come. Is I'm my friend Milna, I'm Irina. Okay, guys, can you hear me well? Can you see me well? Okay, let me just put this on uh, mute because I don't want to disturb you guys. Okay. Can you hear me well, guys? Let me know if you can hear me now or I can do some kind of adjustment, you know, it's, okay, perfect. Okay, so let me get my, my scale here and let me get a different fragrance oil and let me show you how I measure. Let's see, let me put you guys down more so you can see. So I'm gonna just, okay. So I'm gonna take my beaker here and I'm just gonna put it here. And now this is gonna be a special formulation. Hopefully I'll have enough for, uh, to make a candle because I need to order more. Okay, so it's gonna be, let me just take, I need to write down all these formulation before I forget. Let's see, what did I do with that? With my piece of paper that I have my old documentation. Come on. Here it is. Okay, so let me just make this gonna be uh, today is the twenty sixth, no twenty fifth. 
Wax PB600. I don't want to bore you guys. I have all this information. Uh, let me show you. I have all this information because it's, this is uh, my my official vessel. So let me show you. I have it here. So all the information. This is the black glass. Uh, I have the, all the, the measurements in there. All the fragrance oils that I need. The amount. So I don't have to uh, keep having to measure over and over again. So I have all that, all that already taken care of. Okay, let, I think the, the light is too strong. Let me just move it. I think that's better. Okay, so let me just put in here the fragrance. Oh, I need to write the combination. Uh, glowing, amber. From the flaming candle. So guys, you can follow me if you want to make the same candle. Uh, you can just, uh, like I told you, I'm gonna just... So it's glowing amber. Where is it? Glowing amber from the flaming candle. Next one is going to be uh, Cuban tobacco from Candles After Plies. This one here. I'm gonna put the link below on the description box in case you're not able to uh, to copy this. Okay, the next one is gonna be chocolate amber from the flaming candle. And guys, everything is better with chocolate or vanilla. Okay, and the last one is gonna be uh, black cypress and cassis. This is one of my favorite oils ever from Lone Star. Okay, and it's gonna be 10% low. Um, container size, black MCR. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna put in here, uh, let's see. The amount of wax that I need is 12.1 ounces. And the amount of oil that I need for 10%, uh, I need uh, 1.4 ounces. Okay, so let's start measuring now. Okay, so I have I need to figure out because if I have four different oils, I have to. Okay, so I'm gonna do four. Carrie, maybe you can help me uh, on doing this. Oh, hi, Eva, Eva Yoga. No, I don't use essential oils. I only use uh, fragrance oils. Uh, hi, Mirna, how are you? Uh, let's see. So I have. 1.4 ounces divided in four equal 0.35. Okay, so I need to have 0 0.3, 3. Like I'm gonna have like 4.4. .4. Okay, if I do uh, if I do four uh, 0 0.4 uh, 0.4 ounces of each oil, it's gonna be uh, 16 percent. I mean 12 uh, percent. So I don't wanna go there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do 0 0.3 of each. That's gonna give me uh, 12. Uh, I'd rather go lower than more than 10%. That's, so I'm gonna try this with you guys, okay. So I'm gonna do 0.2, no, 0.4 of each. No, 0.3, 0.3, three times four is 12. So 1.2, okay, so let me start with this one. Black side. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know. So I need point three. And this is a nice trick, guys. Uh, if I go like this, sometimes I pour uh, oil all over. If you take a stick like this and you just just pour the uh, the oil on the stick, look, it goes right in into the bottom of the. You have no spill. Okay, I have point three. Point three of Cuban tobacco. Oh my god, guys, I love the smell of tobacco. It's just like so so sexy. 
Okay, and then next chocolate amber. I need point three. Okay, so this is gonna take me to point nine. Okay, and then point three of uh, I mean point four of a. Uh, Point three is going to take me to one point three. I think somehow around here I miscalculated. Uh, okay, so it's one point three ounces that I have in here. Let me just mix this. Okay. Guys, I'm having so much fun with you guys. I was I was playing with me, I was playing music, you know, and just trying to um, play with the different fragrances. And I decided, you know what, guys? Let me just have fun with you guys. Why not? Okay, so now I need to create a label for this. So I have these labels. Okay, so let me just write the date. Today is the 25th. Um, the fragrance combination. Oh, my favorite tobacco scent is uh, tobacco vanilla, uh, but I ran out of it on the melt. So I'm, I reordered it at, at the candle. Let me see if I have the bottle in here. Let me see if I can find the bottle, hold on. I threw it away last night, but I have the, the trash in here. Okay. This is my favorite uh, tobacco, vanilla. I'm gonna link it below also, so let me just leave this outside. So I remember, that's my favorite one. Chocolate amber. Cuban tobacco and black cypress and cassis. Okay, um, it's a CD fourteen uh, week. Okay, if I don't do this, I forget. Okay, so I have everything ready. Let me just take you outside with me and let's start cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys in here and I'm gonna change the light. Okay, let me see. Where can I put you? You can see me better. Let me just. Maybe on this on this table here. Hi Jackie, how are you? Okay, let's see. Uh, just so now that you're alive, just want to say hello. Hi, hello. Thank you for watching my channel. Hi Evelyn. Welcome to my channel. Okay. So let's see, let me just move this around. So guys, as you know, this used to be my, uh, this used to be my hair studio. And now I convert it into my candle studio. Oh my God, this is way too, too high. I'm gonna turn it off because this is way too hot. Okay, so you have to be careful guys, when you have this, uh, these melting pots, I mean, they, you can get extremely hot and you can damage the wax. So, I mean, I'm, I'm only a little bit above 200, so that's fine. So let me just bring the oil and the vessel. Okay. So guys, 
as you can see, I have silk packs in here. This is what I use uh, when you bake stuff. You find this at, at supermarkets, and also you can find it in Costco. I got this at Costco. I think I pay, I uh, don't remember how much. I got a, a pack of four. So this is the way they look like. You know, they come with markers like this. This is when you make cookies. So you can select the size of cookies that you make. So this is uh, like heat proof, and when the wax falls in here, it just cleans so easily. You don't have to worry about it, okay? So, put this in here. And of course, lots of paper towels. I like to put a lot of paper towels everywhere. Okay, let me just put the light this way so you can see me better. Okay. I wish I could put music so we could dance together, you know? He said, why not? Okay, so this is already. Okay, temperature is perfect. I'm gonna just get uh this is one of the of the of the things that I was telling you guys. I got this at Amazon. These are great when you uh when you have different uh scents. So, so what I did is I, I bought a lot of them, you know, I have different sizes. I have this size, and then I have this size, and then I have this is good when you make colors so you can see whether or not you're trying to dissolve the color chips. So this one you can just you know, then I have in here the smaller size when I make smaller candles, like test candles, like this, you know. So today I'm going to be using this one. Okay, let's see. Let me just bring you guys. Okay, guys, if you have... Okay, yes. Uh, Mirna, you know what I'm doing? I'm switching wigs because I got so many different wigs and I just want to try all the ones that I have and I'm testing and I'm, I'm, I'm testing a CD wig on, on this in here and just see how it looks. So far it's looking really great. You know, so I'm just trying all the choices, you know, say why not, you know, so because I have so many in here, it's I feel bad about not throwing them away. So I'm just testing them, and so far I'm happy with the melt pool that I'm getting. You know, it's similar to the LX, so I'll see. You know, it's, it's good to try different choices. Uh, the one that I don't like is the, uh, the Eco, Eco series. For this kind of wax, it hasn't worked for me. Maybe it works for you guys, I don't know. So, okay, so let me just, I need 12.1 ounces. So I'm gonna turn on the, the scale. And this thing here, I'm gonna tear it. Okay, 12.1 ounces. Let's see if I have enough wax. Eight point nine. Oh my God, 12.1 to the dot. Okay, I need to find out the temperature because I don't want to put the oil when it's too hot. Otherwise it will evaporate. Okay, it's still 200, so I'm gonna wait until this uh, cools down a little bit. And let me get, in the meantime, let me just get a spatula here. Okay, so do you have any more questions, guys? Uh, let's see. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know. You can ask me anything about my personal life, about my husband, about my dogs, anything. So, you know, it's, it's fine. Though. That's why we're alive. So, yeah. So, today is raining. I went, I went to the doctor today, this morning. I went to get my, uh, my Botox done on my face. So, I have all this, all this in here is, is full of uh, Botox that, is, uh, that I just got it today. So, it's going to make me more pretty. So I believe in taking care of yourself. It's, it's personal. If you're happy with the way you look, it's a why not. You know, it's everybody's different. So just do whatever makes you happy. Okay, still too high. Let me just stir a little bit to help the cool down. 
And at this area, I was playing with color guys. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do, uh... oh, ASMR, I'm doing ASMR. I do, I can give you, uh, let me see. So, well, that uh, gets, it's cool. So, just in case you're uh, curious, I'm wearing my Jeffree Star uh, lip gloss today. Uh, the shade of this is. Uh, my eyes are too bad. Let me just put some more. I love it. Okay, so let's see how this is going now. Okay, it's 199, so it's going down. So guys, I don't know. I try to be different than the other channels. Uh, I don't like to be like just uh, like the channels that have uh, like follow one, two, three, whatever it is. I think, you know, we're here to have fun. You know, we're on the pandemic. Let's have fun together. Let's make candles together. Let's talk about anything, you know, say so why not? So, you know, it's maybe that's why my channel is growing so much because I can just uh, talk about anything you want or do anything we want, you know, together. It's life is too short to be just following rules on, or just, you know, doing one thing all over again. That's why I want to recreate my channel to be something different, you know? It's, why not? Okay, it's still going down, so we have to wait because I don't want to burn this. So let me just show you again. This is my wig holder that I did with two bamboo uh, skewers and two rubber bands in there. And I centered this perfectly. I'm very happy in the way in the gas center. Okay, so let's see. Come on, oil, get cooler. Okay, 185. I'm gonna wait until it's 180. Usually, um, I did a candle the other day just to experiment, and I did the same wax, uh, but instead of adding the pagans oil at 180, I added it up at 160. And then uh, I stir and stir and stir for two minutes, and then I pour it like, a, like around 140, and the, the wax started getting cloudy, and then I pour it into the candle. Guys, it did not give me any HD or any CT, so I wasted all the wax in there, so. Hi, Sharon, how are you? And Hi Jackie. So no, there's no schedule for me to go live. I just do this when I, whenever I feel like you know I have, I want something to share with you guys. So uh, I may try to do a schedule for the future, but so far I haven't thought about it. You know, so that's a good idea. Okay, so let's see. This is now still 185. So yes, guys. So I, I try adding the the fragrance oil at a lower temperature when I didn't grab at all. So it was a wasted candle, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt uh, the wax again and take it up to 185 and see if the oil's still in there. Uh, Sinoj, uh, yes, when I use a hot plate, I put everything right on, direct on, the, on top of that. It's, it's fine, you know, it's, that's why I like, like I had the two options, you know. Like if I want to keep something with temperature, I just leave it in there and I just turn it on. Uh, the only problem with that is that I, I only have one plug for these two head el uh, for the, for the heat elements and I could either only have one or the other. Otherwise, the electricity will go uh, will shut off in the house. It's too much. It takes a lot of power. So Okay, so let's see. I hope that answers your... Oh, did I say your name right? Sinosh, is that how you say it? Great, beautiful name. Okay, let me see the temperature. It's 183, I'm just gonna go for it. Because I like to live dangerously. Here we go, yes! Beautiful. Now we have to uh, mix, mix, mix for two minutes at least, because this is a lot of wax. And I wanna make sure that every little bit it's uh, 
combine. Oh my God, the mix of this is gonna be glorious. Yes. Guys, I'm trying to, to work with dye chips. I've been trying because I wanna put out the, my black gardenia candle, but I'm telling you guys, it's not working out. There's something on the dye sheep. Uh, maybe because the black color is so rich and there's a lot of pigment to it. And it's not giving me the, uh, the scent that I'm looking for. It's, it's giving me like an after. You know, when you eat something and you have, for example, when you eat something with like, like sugar substitute and you get like an aftertaste uh, when it's not real sugar, the same thing is happening to me uh, with, the, with, the, with the black gardenia. I think the uh, the pigment is giving me like an after after smell, you know, that I'm not liking, and I'm sure that if I don't like it, you're not gonna like it either, you know. It's so I don't want to put out a product that it's gonna be uh, not to my satisfaction. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna uh, I'm not gonna do colors anymore. I'm just gonna use plain uh, the wax the wax color because to me it's more important to give you the the ambiance, the, the quality of the smell, that to give you a, a pretty candle. Okay, so let's see. 164, it's time to pour. So let's see, let me bring this over here. Can you see? Yes. Okay, come on baby, here we go, yes! One beautiful one. I'm sure you're gonna be one in my collection of beautiful candles. So I'm gonna let it cure for two days. So I'm gonna go, maybe I come back live and tell you the results for a quick video. Uh, but in the meantime, this is the beautiful, my new creation. So I have to give it a name. In the meantime, let me just. Here we go, yes! Oh my God, the CT is amazing. I know this is gonna be one of my heat candles. You know, it's, I like it because it's kind of spicy, you know, it's kind of sexy, it's kind of warm, it's kind of like, it gives you like, uh, it makes like a, it creates a mood, and that's the kind of candles that I wanna make. Okay, uh, did I use Vibrant in here? Uh, no. I didn't use Vibar, I used stearic acid only on this batch of wax. I'm, I'm trying to experiment different ratios, you know? So, this is what I use on this batch. And I use uh, one tablespoon per, uh, per, uh, per pound of uh, wax. And I did not use the Vibar because I just wanna see I mean, he's the barber. So I used to I used to combine these two together, but I'm trying to stay away. If I get a good HD with this combination, I know I didn't buy bar. Why not? You know, so yes, you know, I just trying to experiment with everything that I have. Uh, so I the fragrance oils that I use for this, let me just bring them over so I'll show you. Okay, so for those of you that didn't see the beginning of the video, I'm just gonna uh, show you the oils that I got. Okay, this is a combination of equal parts, a glowing amber from the flaming candle, Cuban tobacco from candles and supplies, chocolate amber from the flaming candle, and Black Cypress and Cassis from Lone Star. This is my favorite scent ever. Guys, if you ever get one scent from this company, uh, try getting this one, you're gonna love it, okay? So um, those are the fours. And don't worry because I'm gonna put everything on the link on uh, on the links below uh, so you can have all the information, okay? So in the meantime, let me just put this baby to sleep. Let me just put her, let me just take you with me. Back to the, the candle bar. Okay guys, and you saw my, my wall of fragrance oils, yes? 
Love it. Da, da, da. Here we go. Because my beautiful baby, my new creation. And let me just point the so you can see in there. Adjust the, the wick to make sure that it's center. And this is the candle, guys. Again, so okay, guys. So I hope you like the video. Let me just I hope you I hope you like the video, guys. And uh I'm thinking maybe I'll do a schedule of when I go live. Uh and I'll let you know. So in the meantime, guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel and, you know, and always give a like to my videos. That's how the algorithm works and it uh, lets my video be shown to a major audience and give a like. And until the next video, guys, take care of yourself and each other. And thank you for coming to my uh, to my live. And until the next one, guys, take care of yourself and bye-bye. Yes! Goodbye, Eva. Goodbye, Lucky. Goodbye, everyone.